So this is the story of Lucas Giolito. Uh, Lucas uh, was a Nationals pitcher, uh, was a top prospect for the Nationals um, in 2014-15. I think he might have been the top prospect in all of baseball as well at the time. Um, I'm pretty sure he was, as a matter of fact. Um, so he came to Potomac in 2015. Um, he came a little bit late. Um, he was at stated expen uh, extended spring training down in Florida. Uh, came. I remember the f the first game he came. Uh, we went up there. It was raining. I knew they weren't going to play, but you know, at, of course, Abby wanted to go there. Um, this is you know 2015, so she's still really big into autographs and foul balls. Um, so we, you know, we drive up there. It's raining. I know it's going to rain. Um, Game gets canceled. Uh, you know the rain had stopped, but the rain, but the game got canceled because it had rained too much. So we went, you know, up anyway. She had a ball she wanted him to sign, uh, so she went up there um, after the game. Well, I, not after the game was canceled. You know, they changed it, came out, and she got a picture with him. Um, I think he signed, you know, a major league ball. She had bought a major league ball for him specifically. Um, so, you know, that was the first time we ever met Lucas. And, you know, instantly you could tell he's just a really good guy. I mean, super nice guy. Um, so we go back. Uh, the next game, he, he's pitching maybe one of the next games. You know, he's a starting pitcher. So, you know, Abby, I ask her again, you know, do you want to watch him pitch or do you want to go try to get a foul ball? You know, maybe get a foul ball from his first game. And she said she wanted to go get a foul ball uh, for the first inning at least. So, you know, we went out there. Uh, they're playing the Frederick Keys. The first batter was Tucker Nathans. Um, I know that just because he ended up giving Abby a bat at one point. So he was another really good guy. Um, very first pitch Lucas threw uh, was a foul ball. It came right out of the stadium, uh, and Abby got it, right? This is it right here. Whoosh. Lucas, uh, we still have the ticket. Uh, we don't really do that a whole lot, but we kept that ticket. Um, you know, we saw Lucas, uh, Abby asked if he wanted the ball, uh, he did not, and so he signed it and gave it to her. This is one of her favorite balls. Um, and as you see, he personalizes it. You know, he personalized, he, back then he personalized everything for everybody, um, which I loved. I thought it was great. Abby loved it. Some people didn't like it so much, but, uh, we loved it. So, you know, season progresses, you know, Abby gets another picture with him. Um, talks to him, you know, he's a starting pitcher, so he doesn't come out that much, you know, but whenever he does, uh, he's just an awesome dude, uh, super nice, um, very engaging, and just, just a genuinely nice guy, um, you know, so they build a pretty good relationship over the season, um, you know, he gets promoted, you know, we go see him when he's up at Harrisburg, when they come down to Richmond, um, you know, like when we go up and see Spencer and those guys, uh, him and Spencer were pretty good friends, I believe, um, oh, they are. I know they are. I believe I know they are. Um, so, you know, I go up there and see him, and Abby brings a picture um, of her up there for him to sign, you know, and he goes to sign it, and he goes, oh, it's Abby with the IE, right? It's one of those moments, right, where he remembered her name, remembered how to spell it. Um, it was just awesome. It was an awesome moment for her, for him to remember that, you know, and that's just, you know, the type of guy Lucas is. Um, just super nice. I, I mean, yeah, just incredibly nice guy. Like, when he's one of those people you're like, ah, oh, he can't be that nice when he really is that nice. <laughs> so, you know, that season goes, and I'm pretty sure the next season is when he gets traded for uh, him and Ronaldo Lopez got traded for Eaton. They traded somebody else too, I think. You know, which was heartbreaking. Um for us, especially for Abby, you know, um, I was probably two seasons later, you know, it was heartbreaking for us, for him to get traded, you know, but in the long run, it was the best thing for him, right? Cause he got a chance to go to the White Sox. He got a chance to pitch, you know, all the time, you know, the nationals are they're built a little different, right? They're built to win right now. The White Sox, um, were not at that time, right? Uh, they are now, I think. But he got his chance, you know, got up there, and he could grow as a pitcher. And last year had an awesome year, right? He was Cy Young candidate early in the season, made the All-Star game, I think. Um, just awesome. Um, anyway, so we go back. You know, he gets traded to Chicago. 
Uh, Chicago has a team that comes through um, to the Norfolk Tides. Uh, so we got to go up there and see him. Um, and it was awesome. We walked up. We were walking in the stadium. kind of empty. He sees her. He was talking. He sees her. Stopped. Came over. Talked to her. They took another great picture. Um, it's funny. We had talked to Spencer earlier that season when he was at Harrisburg, I believe. And he said something about how he missed Lucas and that we should give him a hug. <laughs> um, and so we saw him. We were talking. And I was like, hey, you know, Spencer told us to give you a hug. And he's like, oh, I'll give her a hug. <laughs> so he gave Abby a hug. That was, it was a fun moment. That was a good memory. Um, you know, so Lucas, I think the next game after that, he pitched against the um, Syracuse Chiefs in maybe a seven-inning game, and he no-hit him, right? That's the Nationals, AAA team. Yeah, I'm a Nationals fan, you know, and, and that sucks, of course, because I know people on the team, but, man, it was awesome for him. I mean, it had to just be an awesome moment for him, you know, to, to no-hit the team that traded him. Anyway, I digress. So... You know, we follow Lucas. We don't get to see him that often, you know, but we follow him. Uh, and then this... Oh, so let me go back. So we are at Nats Fest. Um, you know, this is after he was traded. And we were looking in their game use stuff. And they had this. This is a Lucas Giolito spring training jersey, right? Abby bought this with her own money, right? Um, most of the stuff we have, she bought with her own money. You know, it's babysitting and stuff. So this is awesome. This is one of our favorite things. As you can see, it's framed. It's one of the four jerseys she has framed. It's up in her room. You know, Spencer's on this side. Uh, Lucas on this side. And, you know, um, Jackson is on the other wall. Uh, so we've got that. Um, and then, so this season, early in the season, he's on the White Sox. Um, we go, they're playing the Nationals. So we go up to that game. Um, we walk out there into left field and sure enough, Lucas is out there warming up, you know, he's throwing the ball and he looks over and he kind of does a double take. And I said, Abby, I said, he just recognized you, you know, we hadn't seen him in a couple of years, right? Cause he's been with the White Sox. I said, he just recognized you. Um, and so, you know, he's warming up and he gets done warming up and he walks right over to us, right? Has a ball, tosses it up to Abby, right? This was his warm-up ball. It's this one right here. This was on um, June 5th, right, of this year. Right? This is just the ball he was warming up with. Came over, tossed it up to her. Um, and we talked, right? We, you know, for a couple minutes and um, just told him how happy we were for him that he was having such a great season. And, you know, and he's like, ah, oh, it's great to see you guys. He's like, I got to go warm up, you know. And um, Abby's like, hey, can we get a picture together? And he's like, of course, you know, so they, he went and warmed up, did his bullpen session, came back. And the stadium was supposed to be open, right? Um, for some reason, um, the Nats were not opening the stadium. And Lucas is down there. You know, he's got a lot of stuff to do, I'm sure. You know, go get ready for the game. And he's waiting, you know, and they're still not opening. It's probably, you know, five minutes after. You know, they're pretty rigid on their times. And it's five minutes after they're supposed to open the stadium for everybody to go through the entire stadium and they weren't doing it so lucas was like you know abby's like oh you can go ahead and he's like no i'll wait and then he asked the security guard hey can you let them come down and talk to me and they came up and got us and we went down there stadium was closed went down you know right on the left field line down there and sat there and talked to him you know for a good i don't know five or more minutes right talked about you know spencer and Carter and all that and just talked about um you know his season and you know he asked questions about the peanuts and that they're moving to Fredericksburg I mean it was just an awesome experience um you know he was one of the he's one of the best pitchers in the game I think and I think you know this will be his year and I just think that you know he took the time and talked to us like we were old friends and that's that was a big deal to Abby right and a big deal to me but to her especially, right? Cause she always loved Lucas and, you know, and these players that go and, you know, we elevate to that superstar level, you know, they can, I don't want to say forget about you or whatever, you know, but he did not not for a second. He sat there and talked to us for a long time. They got a great picture. Um, and, you know, he went and uh, 
you know, went back and we watched the game and it's just an awesome experience, right? And he's just um one of our favorite players. You know, it's just he's always super nice and you know, that's what we bought his or she bought his jersey and that's why we have his, you know, balls, baseballs encased. <laughs> um, you know, and she has them upstairs. Um, up in her room, she's got a, a 50 ball display case in there, you know, where she has her favorite baseballs up in there and, you know, his are up there cause he's just an awesome guy. And, um, I can't wait to see what he does this season and for the rest of his career. So that's my Lucas Gilito story. Thanks.